friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Today I decided for this video we're going to talk about all things skincare. And what I mean by that is I'm going to talk about my favorite products that I have used, products that I'm excited to use, and products that I've made swaps, swaps for. Sorry, I don't know why I said swap that way. Anyway, let's dive right in. So first things first, I like to use a PMD facial cleanser or a Foreo. A Foreo? Yeah, Foreo. Rhymes with Oreo. <laughs> I like to use a silicone-based cleansing device on my face just to get some mild exfoliation in every day. Not over exfoliation, that's not good for your skin. Anyway, you don't need one of these exact products. You can go into Amazon and type in silicone-based electric device facial scrubber and just type in something. I'm sure you'll find it eventually. You can even just type in Foreo dupe and it will come up. Anyway, these are great and they really just give you that extra clean feeling as opposed to just applying a cleanser with your hands. So I really enjoy them. So what I do is I take my cleanser and I'm about to get a lot of hate from the skincare community. But for the longest time, I've used Mario Botescu's Enzyme Cleansing Gel and I'm making a switch because I feel like, I feel like it's becoming a little too fragranced for me and it's making my skin react. So, it might work for some, it worked for me for a long time, but I'm starting to realize that the fragrance is just too much for me and my skin allergies and just my general allergies not working so well for me. So I've decided to swap it with just your simple basic Cetaphil. I've used it a couple times and I've liked it so far. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep using it. It's really basic. It's not gonna, it's really not gonna like break you out, I think too much. Um, I really like it, so I'm gonna keep using it. And then, this is about to be a moment. I'm addicted to rose water face spray, and I know it does absolutely nothing for my skin, but I just, I wanna spray it, I wanna spray it right now. I love this stuff, I carry it in my purse, I know it doesn't do anything, but I just love it. But just like the cleansing gel I just talked about, it does have a lot of fragrance in it, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye. And I'll see you later. Maybe not, but thank you. Thank you for always being there. Okay, that was enough. So anyway, <clears throat> I've made a swap. I have decided to just use this Heritage Store rose water. The only ingredients in this are purified water and hydro essential rose. So that is a way better ingredient list than Mario Botescu's, oh wow, aqua propylene glycol. I don't know what that is. I always, my personal rule of thumb is if you look at a cleanser and you really can't understand like at least three of the words on the ingredients list, you probably shouldn't use it. It's probably a little too much. Anyway, I've made my swap from Old Faithful Mario Botescu rose petal water to to this heritage store, natural rose petal water. You'll do just fine. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Anywho, <laughs> I also, my new favorite brand that I am obsessed with, a dear friend of mine, she works at Sephora and she suggested it to me when I was like, hey, I wanna try a new skincare brand and I really don't want to pay for Drunk Elephant anymore. I just don't. It's great stuff, Drunk, don't get me wrong, I really like gr Drunk Elephant. It's just a little too pricey for mama and she's trying to save this year, okay? So we're not gonna do this. Um, the brand that she showed me is The Inky List. Does it make me, does it make me a YouTuber if I do this? Okay, anyway, <laughs> this is Inky List. I just made myself laugh, how embarrassing. This is The Inky List, this is the caffeine eye cream. I love this stuff. I put mine in the fridge just to like amp up the depuffing effect for your under eyes. I love this. I put this on before I put my moisturizer on and after I cleanse my face and I really think it makes a difference. I probably should have used more today. Midweek feeling, but <laughs> this is, it's just great stuff and it's really affordable. It's at Sephora. It's cruelty free, which I really care about. I try to make sure that at least 98% or at least most of my products are cruelty free. That's just something that's really important to me personally. So I love the Inky Fit List Caffeine Eye Cream. I also use this by the Inky List, the Peptide Moisturizer. And I honestly think this is a great dupe for Drunk Elephant's Proteiny. I just do. 
it's only $14, I think, at Sephora, whereas I think Protein is at least $65. So it has peptides in it. It really just helps plump up and firm your skin. And you can pair it with hyaluronic acid, um, which I don't have any right now. I'm out of it, but I use hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary, another great affordable brand that you can get at a lot of places now. But The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, I apply that before I apply my peptide moisturizer so that I can get that max moisturizing, I don't like that word, I'm sorry. That max, we'll just say moisturizer. Max plumping moisturizer. Such an uncomfortable word, moist. Ugh, ugh. Okay, sorry. Another product that I wanted to talk about, whenever I get an emergency breakout on my face or sometimes I get little tiny white bumps, those are called milia. And if they're really tiny or they're small enough to where you don't need to go to a dermatologist, I but you still want to get rid of them, I highly recommend this exfoliate by Paula's Choice. It's got BHA in it and salicylic acid. I had two giant milia under the bottom of my eye last summer. This stuff, put it on for a week, they were gone. It was amazing. I This stuff is kind of pricey. I definitely recommend buying the mini size like this before splurging on a, a larger size. Um, it's also cruelty free, which I care about. And I really love this stuff. I It definitely does, this is stronger stuff though. So try not to mix it with anything that might make it react badly on your face. I have done that before. I have actually used BHA and AHA with a vitamin C and citric acid and had a giant rash on my face for two weeks. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Don't be like Julie. Read labels. Talk to a dermatologist. Or just read labels or just you know read whatever you want to do so paula's choice love this liquid exfoliant and here's two products that i have used before i've used in the past but they're not exactly my favorite um so the first one i'm going to talk about is this i'm sure you all recognize this this is fair's witch toner fair's witch hazel facial toner I don't really think this does anything. I think that it's good if you're on the go and your face feels kind of oily or dirty and you just want to wipe it on a cotton pad and just take off whatever excess grease you might have. But honestly, every time I put this on my face, my face feels drier. And I know, I know some of you really love your Thayer's Witch Hazel and it's great. It's great, but I would only really use this if you have like a breakout or you just want some oil control. I don't recommend using this every day. Like, I couldn't even get through this tiny bottle because it just kept drying my face out and making my face just feel kind of like I had just washed it with a bar of Dove soap. Which if you do that, if you're washing your face with a bar of soap, please stop. Or I'm going to report you to the skincare police or whoever will stop you. And then this, this is an amazing facial oil. It's Biosense. I really like it, but I use it very sparingly because it is very expensive. My lovely best friend gifted this to me. I love it, but honestly, you can get facial oils for a more affordable price and they will probably work just as well because this is vitamin C and rose oil. Now, the only difference, and I will say this, is this has squalene in it and it's plant-based squalene, so it's vegan and there's no animal cruelty that's involved in making the squalene in this biosense. I feel like such a YouTuber when I do this, guys. Um, <laughs> anyway, I use this, but very sparingly. If you would like to try a facial oil, I would really just recommend looking up vitamin C or rosehip oil. You're going to find something, even at Whole Foods, they might have something for you. I don't recommend, though, putting a lot of essential oils on your face. I know, I know that might be controversial, but I personally just, I don't see the benefit in putting a direct essential oil on your face too much. So if you're going to get a rosehip oil, try to make sure it's not an essential rose oil, but it's a rosehip oil with vitamin C or vitamin E, something, a carrier oil to dilute it so that your skin doesn't break out or the fragrance doesn't flare up your allergies of any kind. So yeah, thank you for taking the time today to watch me talk about my skincare and the products I use. I really love buying skincare products. I have an Ipsy subscription. I will buy things that I see randomly that I'm like, that's cool packaging, that looks fun. So I have a lot and a lot, a lot, a lot of skincare products. You can ask my boyfriend, he does not get counter space. Uh, 
Anyway, with that being said, I really hope to continue this channel and continue on because with all the skincare stuff I buy, I would love to do a giveaway for the people who watch this. I just think it'd be fun. Anyway, thanks again for watching my channel. If you have the time, I would appreciate if you like, comment, or subscribe. Comment whatever. I love reading comments. Thanks again for watching this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!